In order to create a new Maven based project in IntelliJ IDEA, first thing you need to click on this icon new project. On the left hand side, you can see new project. The languages are given like Java, Kotlin, Groovy, and then there are generators. Just select this first option Java, provide a project name. Location, I'm going to provide a directory of my choice. To provide that, I can directly paste the directory location or select it by browsing it from here. Let me do that. I have selected a directory. Clicking on OK. Build system should be Maven. In my case, it is selected. If it is not, make sure this option is selected Maven. I have JDK installed in my system. IntelliJ has already detected that. In your case, if JDK is not selected, you make sure that you add the JDK location from here. I'm disabling this add sample code option. Clicking on advanced settings. Group ID is the package name over here and artifact ID is based on the project name that is provided. Clicking on create. Maximizing this here. If I expand this source directory, I have main and test. Now here I'm going to add one sample dependency and that particular library, which I'm going to add here as dependency. I'm going to use that when I'm writing the sample code. Suppose I'm going to use a common slang package and I want to add that dependency over here. What we can do, we can go to Google and type Maven repository, press enter, click over here under search type common slang. Click on this link. There are multiple versions. I'm selecting the latest one. Scroll down. If you click here, by default, it is copied to the clipboard. Going back to IntelliJ IDEA, adding dependencies first. Under that, I'm going to paste the dependency that I copied. Now, initially, you can see this version is marked in red, meaning this dependency is not found. So, in IntelliJ IDEA, what we can do, we can select this particular button, load Maven changes and click over here or we can use the shortcut ctrl shift o let me use the shortcut first now it's trying to resolve the dependency and you can see that red mark is gone in case it is red then there is some problem meaning the dependency is not correct or there is some issue in identifying or resolving that dependency now i'm going to write some code over here which uses this particular library creating a package first Creating a new Java class, main method, importing a class from commons package over here, added the code using the string utils. Now I can directly run this code here, right click, run Maven demo, allow access. So the code is running properly. So what we have done, we have created a sample project, added a sample dependency and using that dependency, we have written few lines of code, which is working fine. Now here, one thing I want to show over here on the right hand side, if you click on this M, this Maven panel and you expand this project here, we have lifecycle plugins, dependencies and all lifecycle has all the necessary phases. We can build the project using this lifecycle. Suppose I select clean and install. And if I run this, the build will run from here. You can see the build is successful. Now, in order to run the phases of the Maven commands, we can use this. We can see the plugins from here. We can check the dependencies. We have single dependency, which is the common slang package. And here we can see the repository, our local repository and the Maven central. Another important thing over here is if we go to settings, we can press Alt Control S or we can directly go from here. This settings now at the top. Let me minimize this at the top. I'm just typing Maven. So under build execution deployment build tools, we have Maven. If we select this, if you see the Maven home path, it is showing bundled Maven 3, meaning the Maven that comes automatically with IntelliJ IDEA. But in case we have our local Maven installation and we want to use that, ideally we should do that. We should be changing it from the bundled Maven to that particular path. I can click here. I have this local installation of Maven. Click on OK. Now it is pointing to my custom Maven installation and it is showing the change version. Apply. OK. Now IntelliJ is adjusting itself to the custom Maven installation. Now if I go to Maven and select the lifecycle and run any specific phase like clean and install, this time it would be using the Maven which is present in my system, not the bundled Maven which comes with IntelliJ IDEA. If you see this particular command which is running over here, it has gone away. I'll scroll there and slowly go to the right. If you see over here, it is mentioning the Maven home is this the location that we mentioned. So it is using the specific Maven location which we pointed. So in this lesson, we learned how to create a simple Maven project from IntelliJ IDEA, 
how to add the Maven dependency, how to run the Maven commands from IntelliJ IDEA, and also how to and how to change the Maven that is used from IntelliJ IDEA instead of the bundled version to use the custom Maven installation.